Hey, what's up, YouTube? It's Jay Jeter. I'm back this time with a transforming robot review. This time I have Make Toys or Maki Toys, whatever you want to call it, Trash Talk and Cogwheel. Here's the box. They come in. Nice little rectangular box. The front, you got Trash Talk right here, alt mode. Alt mode for Cogwheel and alt mode. And call Will in his robot mode, and they are a uh, homage to Transformers Swerve and Gears. Okay. And these are their Cybertronian S alt modes. So, front of the box, top of the box, two product shots. There, back of the box, we got what all they can do, what fun ways they can turn. You see um, Trash Talk comes with a little tray of drinks as seen in the Transformers IDW comic books. Which one is that? More than meets the eye. Lost Light and whatnot. And these little features of what they all can do. Get that, this, that, and that. And you can do this with other people. On the bottom, alt mode picture. And that is about it for the packaging. Here is Cogwheels Gears. And here is Trash Talk Swerve. So I'm gonna do the review in um, kind of a separate, different little way. They both transform the same. It's nothing that much to them. I mean, they, they, they transform the same. Only thing difference of them is just a couple of um, sculpted detail, like in the chest and the faces and also their, their alt modes. It's just a, a few subtle changes. They're pretty much the same figure. And let's take a look at Cogwheel first. Take this out of here. And one thing about these figures, the hands are on ball joints and they seem to pop off very easily, which is a good thing so you don't risk you breaking the, the ball peg with his hand. So. Let's take a look at this guy real quick. Move out the way. Come to you later. So yeah, you can see he is um supposed to be gears. His face right there. There's no light piping. The eyes are painted blue. I don't know how well that comes across on camera. So yeah, he has a little bit of paint detailing right down his chest. And he's a little um, mini figure. Not much, too much detailing on him. But not so. Yeah, as far as articulation, the articulation is both on the same on both figures. Now I will do do a, do a transformation, but um, the arms are on. I believe it's a ball joint. Looks like a ball joint. But they do rotate around 360. The shoulders do come out about that much, and you can get them in different kinds of. It come out depending on where you got his arms. It come out further like this, not as much right here. And do got upper bicep rotation, bends at the elbow 90 degrees. Hands are like I said, they are on a ball joint, and they are slightly sculpted into an open position, which is nice. I like that. Uh, he does have um, ab rotation. Uh, he does rotate at the abdominal, and he also has a, um, I think his abdominal is on a um, a ball joint, so he can get all kinds of some good range of motion, and he has an ab crunch also. Legs are all ball joint, backward that much, forward this much, they go out to the side, they rotate at the upper thigh, uh, bend at the knee 90 degrees. Foot is on a ball joint, so you can get some ankle tilt possibility with that foot and everything. Uh, the head does turn, you gotta get your finger in there to get the head to turn. But and one on feature that joint. came on the box that he said he can do, he can um, swap faces. And here is his alternate face. If I get the camera to focus.
thing. Okay, I'm gonna pull this out. Okay, I'm too close up. So yeah, ultimate face is supposed to homage his G1 toy face. So that's the um, the face plate and the visor. And it, it's okay. It's not my thing. I rather go for um, cartoon accuracy. So I'm keeping the regular face. But if you so choose to, you can swap out the faces by pulling out the chest. You, pretty much what you're going to do is going to grab down here at the bottom. Use a fingernail and you're going to pull this his towards his chest out. So you'll pull it out like that. And what you're supposed to do is supposed to pop the head off. But I don't think I'm going to pop it off. I haven't done it I haven't tried it, but what you gotta do is you're gonna like pull the torso out, then you're gonna unscrew this screw in the back of his head to loosen this up, which what I recommend. The instructions say just to pull it off. Or they just show in the picture to pull it off. There's no no words for the instructions, but like like I said, unscrew this screw, loosen it up, pull the head off, unscrew, loosen this screw up, and put the head on and tighten it back up. That's what I recommend. I'm not gonna change it out in camera, but you get the idea. Uh, how to change it out. So then what you don't do, you're just gonna slide them back in. And you can also, if you want to, if you need to, you can pose the head before you put the back into the chest. If you choose to. So yeah. Slide them back in. And there. Voila. And also, what he comes with it, he comes with accessories. He comes with a gun right here, look like a little grenade launcher. And there's another gun in here, it goes with um, Swerve, like a little um, cannon bazooka, which has a like, little jewel right here on the, the viewfinder. So, it's cool. Size so comparison with the uh, Seeker mode. Seeker mode, yeah. Seeker mode's a small person. And it looks like this comparison with um upcoming review figure. We get this um a blast off or the name Skyburst, whatever you want to call it. I call him blast off. Y'all know me. That's how I do. So very small compared to a um a Voyager figure. And we get him next to the big boss Orion Optimus Prime. Mini bot to Toy World's B, and he is smaller than B, which ain't, ain't by that much. I mean, it still looks good. And here he is with Toy World's Mini Bot Braun, smaller than Braun. So, yeah, all right, now let's get to the transformation. Like I said it's very simple. What you want to do, go ahead and do first, go ahead and paint this backpack right here. Should get some focus. Paint the backpack, I'll split down half, rotate it up like so. Next, take the hands, you're going to unpeg, uh, unpeg them. You're going to take it right here, this little tab right here. You're going to use your finger, untap it like that, rotate it up. Don't grab it from the faint from the hand because it's gonna pop off the ball, pop off the ball joint. So put your finger on the tab, untap it, rotate it up. Next, what you're gonna do is gonna collapse the arms, you're gonna push them in. So you're gonna take this open tab, open hole right here, you're gonna tap it in right here. So Push your arm in right there, arm in right there, your feet, bring them down, rotate the wheels, and you're going to tab these two together, the two legs, and you're going to rotate, fold the legs up, it's going to come on tabs, but that's not worry about that, because you're going to tab the roof. On these two tabs right here, the two red tabs, we're gonna tab into the underside of the feet slash roof. 
tap it in and tap it all back together and then you got him transformed to vehicle mode and he rolls very well on these rubber tires uh, the outside of the tires roll the inside tire does not roll kind of split up kind of like fans project did with their um, stomach cons and his little bazooka gun can store onto the side of the vehicle to this, this tab right here and tap into this hole so you know, just plug it in like that you probably got to rotate this it does rotate rotate like that out of the way find which way to rotate it Plug it right there, he got weapon storage in vehicle mode. Cool, all right? Yeah, all right. Off to the side, we get oh, one more thing you can't open this little the hood, this car mode up, and you got the right, this little lights and everything, like here. I'm not sure what it's supposed to be or what it's supposed to mean, but it does do that. All right, now to swerve same thing same transformation as you can see the um the detailing on the vehicle modes are a little bit different you got the little truck cat right here he got a little doom buggy type window right here yeah a little subtle differences but they're quite the same little molding differences so he's coming out the way you got his little drink tray take a look at that real quick couple of drinks in here couple of a jug of energon this doesn't split up it's all one thing so yeah it comes with a little picture of energon right here and come with a couple of two little cups of energon also so he's out there Nah, 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 nah. he wants some drinks and some, some drinks here here's some shots and bumblebee comes up hey I want a shot and you can hold it in his hand also. And you can chuck down some energon. Like so. Which is kind of weird because energon is their blood and they also drink energon. Which they like they're drinking their blood. They're drinking their blood. <clears throat> so yeah. And they just tab in. You get two little slot tabs right here and slots in. These slots. Put off to the side. Let's look at him, same thing, not much to him. Not too heavily detailed at all on these figures. Which is cool. And he also he got a little gimmick. You can open up his open this thing up and get open. You can get this little this eye right here. I don't know, camera. But it's on a little ball joint. You can move it left to right, up and down. That's that's to it. And it's going to transform him real quick. Same transformation. Nothing. Right. Legs down. Rotate the wheels. Rotate the wheels. Feet. Get them up. Bring the arms out. Extend the arms. Tab in the hand. Get it on camera. Kind of hard. Make sure you get the arms all the way out and you get a little click and it's tabbed in. Bring the camera up some. Up oh, periscope. And we're going to do the same thing. Extend the arm first. And you can tell it's extended because you got a little slider right here on the arm. When it's going all the way back, that means all the way extended. Tab the hand. Then you take the back part and you rotate these pieces and tap them together. Come on, baby. Come on. Having a hard time for some reason. Really? There you go. That's what they're doing. For days, and the first time gave me some problems. 
Okay, then he's transformed to his robot mode. And you take a look at his face. He got a little smiley, happy face to him. And one thing I forgot to show off was Swerve's additional face. It is this little skeletal face that um, is from the comic books. From when he um, he shot himself in the face with his My First Black... Not with his My First Best, but with, with this gun. He accidentally shot himself in the face and he pretty much blew off everything. It was seen to what was underneath his face and everything so so yeah and you can see the, the, the detail on the chest real quick the differences I get focus the camera there we go see the differences the chest detailing so yeah so yeah that's him he also can hold his gun in his hand and I forgot to show off the um, the storage on weapon in the vehicle mode, but the same concept as for the other guy. And his hand pops off too. Yeah, that was in focus. So you got this peg right here, and it just tabs in to this on uh, right here on the side on his leg. And transform. So yeah, man, yeah, that's about it. Uh, he can hold his um his drink tray. Got these post bottom of it. Whatever, so he can bend his elbows and help him hold his just tray. You know, just serving drinks to everyone and uh, be a little bartender dude that he is. So yeah, so that's about it for these figures, man. Nothing much to them. I give you size comparisons and whatnot, and uh, you see a little size comparison real quick how Vilcomo's look. Here he is with Tor World's um, grind rod, and he, grind rod is like really bigger than. Yeah, so yeah. And here he is with the Shield of Shield Jazz, which kind of fits a little bit more if he's just like a mini truck, Cybertronian mini truck. But I got a feeling he should be a little bit bigger, or at least the same size, height as Jazz. Yeah. But hey, it works. It looked better. It looked better than what was offered before. With Toy Worlds, or not Toy World, but um, Eye Gears, uh, mini bots of these two characters, which I already sold my Gears version and my Swerve is in the box. Already boxed up, waiting to be sold to someone. So, um, so yeah, man, I already had to recommend picking these guys up if you don't already, if you don't mind the size of these guys. Um, they do work fine. I think they are better than the Hasbro version. I think they only got Hasbro version of Swerve out so far. But I do recommend go picking them, picking these two up. They're not too expensive. It's like seventy dollars for the both of them. They come in a, a single pack, a pack of two. And um, yeah, I got mine from uh, Chamon Mung. So. Yeah, that's about it. Thank y'all for watching. It's been Jay Jeter. I'll see y'all later. Peace.